A little bit too inside. Now that IS-2 had a really good shot on our Coppola. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. Why didn't I fire right there? Help, team! Help! <laughs> Yo, what's up? I will take you with me! <laughs> So, uh, in today's video, we're going to be testing out the T95 and the T28 to check out their new buffs. So, apparently, APH in a lot of rounds will either bounce off the Coppola or just go right through and never explode. At least that's what people are telling me. And I don't understand why. Because it should explode in there a little bit. There's a, there's a lot of friction to trigger the explosive mass in the shell. Um, but what used to happen is that uh, the APHE round would go into this Capola, hit an optic port, and just bounced like backwards. So, especially this one, this is the most crucial one, is that it would hit this optic port, optic port, jeez, and bounce right down to the ammunition. So I don't really understand the. I mean, there's absolutely no way. Now, maybe at 6.7, yeah, you you know, can you believe a fucking RU251 shell can go right through this armor? 300 millimeters right here. Go right through it. Now, granted, he doesn't get much here, but he might be able to go through. Uh, that might bounce. Yeah, that might bounce. I don't know. If the Capolas are buffed now, it's going to be really hard for us to die. Hopefully, they still work as weak spots, but they just don't explode or they don't, they're not guaranteed kills all the time. There's chances for a bounce or as, you know, we're on the battlefields going, uh, uh, over pen. So we're going to be taking out maybe the T95 first and using the T28 as backup. Without further ado, guys, let's go tank some damage. Welcome to the battle and welcome to Poland. The really hard thing to stomach with the T95 is its speed. But you got to understand and keep it in the back of your head that every track link you lay down is a track link closer to bringing 300 millimeters of frontal armor into the battlefield. Now, Poland. I feel like we can get more action on the left side of C, but the main road to the right of C, you know that bigger one in the uh, E-line, it's safer for us. Because on our left side, there won't be, you know, potentially RU-251s in the berm. We got another T-95 behind us to help us out. All right, boys, move aside. Let the real man push through. Is that a tank? What is this? Is that an IS-6? Oh, fuck. Oh, that was a really good shot, though. That was not half bad. I guess we'll load APCR for him. Because, uh... <laughs> yeah. There you go. IS-6 brings about as much effective armor as this thing has with mobility. A little bit too high on the shot. Good bounce, T95. No, he said, let me go first, dude. I'll tank it. Oh, I need these guys in the turrets to keep me safe on the left and right, and I can hopefully counter the front. This is actually a really good strategy, by the way. If you have a, a friend or a squad mate, a human being with a T90 or T92 or a T34, this strategy is awesome because with its high silhouette, it can look over the T95 and I can act as huge space armor for it. Or that can happen. <laughs> he meant well by that. The IS-6 is like, holy fuck, I can't, I can't do anything. A little bit of a, a little bit of his own medicine for him. We're going to stop right here though. Well, right here. Beautiful. Yeah. I wish tracking was like a thing that you could really rely. Oh, okay, look, his tracks are gone. Our teammate helped us right there. I'm gonna push out a little bit to the right, get a better shot. Maybe we can get his mantlet here. Oh man, that, that, that. Look at this round though. 
300 plus millimeters of penetration right now, but it's eaten by that spall shield and it's slope too. So APCR doesn't like slope stuff, but we got to get right up, right on the money. There we go. Sweet. Left side, left side, left side. Need to spot up, spot it for our team. Good shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Noise, get the panther. Is this guy dead? Oh, shit. Heat fin stabilize? Heat fin stabilize. Heat fin stabilize. We do not want to mess with that at all right now. He just get nailed? Yeah, he did. He, he did. I'm not taking that. I'm not taking that. Nice. Okay, good. He's dead. Moving on. Oh, look how sick this is, guys. Fuck yeah. See, like, maps like this is where the T95 is a joy to play. There's still a... Ooh. Ooh, shit. What the... You good, dude? Holy crap. This guy should be behind me, but... Uh, too late to change that up now. What I was going to say is that there's still a ton of players in the game and they haven't captured B yet and they're not in the city. So they... Oh... You guys hear those new sound effects right there? How cool is that? Oh, yes. Good. Die. Good. Good, Yaki7. Where is that big bomber at? I can hear it. That's the bane for the... Uh, oh, 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 shit. No, no. T95 just got him down, or uh, IS2 just got him down. I think he's to our left. I just saw a Chevron pop up for him. They're capturing B. They're, they're capturing B. They're capturing B. They're capturing B. Ooh, we got a T44 to our left. Don't look over here, dude. It looks pretty clear. He might, he, he's probably below the dip. We're gonna turn and face this T, um, this uh, T44. Good. Good, first kill of the day, right there. Whoa. Far range. Oh man, that was nice. So, two, ooh, shit, they're capturing A? What the fuck? I was about to say two uh, cleanup kills right there to end the game, but apparently there's an enemy at, oh, damn it. I wanted to go hunt him out. Good first game, T95 didn't get penned once. Welcome to Port Novo. We're gonna put the T95 to the test here. You see this bridge? Yeah, we're just gonna park it right on there. Now, there is a high a really high chance of heat fin stabilized just because of the RU251s on the enemy team. But hopefully our team can uh, counteract them. And usually they don't, they usually like to flank. So hopefully they won't be around this area. Don't see anybody yet though. Oh, I see one person, but I think he's already dead. Oh shit. Oh God. Um, track maybe. Got his track. I'm gonna load up the APCR, but at this angle, I'm pretty sure it's gonna bounce. Okay, right here, perfect. There's no way this is gonna go through, like not in a blue moon. Oh. Huh. There goes his repair. There you go, M18, get him, get him, get him, dude. Get him, M18. Do it! Do it! Kill! Oh no! He set him on fire! Now there was an IS-2 shooting this way earlier. Oh god, yeah, there it definitely is an IS-2 over there. Let's push up because no one's in this area. I think they're all down the uh, the main streets. Oh, that Yag Tiger is so strong. I wonder if his round could do anything to us. Whoa! King Tiger ammo? I hit a little bit. 
Yo, what's up, Kino? What's, what's up, Yagi? Yagi, over here! Yag Tiger, stop killing my team! <laughs> Yo, this guy's just one-tapping, guys. As he should, that, that gun he has is so powerful. You should think about your decisions in life. Ah, uh, just a little bit too high. Let's hang a little bit more for that Yag Tiger. There we go. Nice! A little bit too inside. Now that IS-2 had a really good shot on our Coppola. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. Why didn't I fire right there? Help, team! Help! <laughs> Yo, what's up? I will take you with me! <laughs> oh my god! Extreme! Hey guys, um, you know, let's just call for some help. Maybe we'll make it through, guys. Where's that, where's that tiger at? Yo, walk right in front of my gun. Do it. Oh my god, they, what the fuck is happening? You know, you can, no, no, just shoot my side. There you go, IS. No, down, IS6. Not the Coppola. Oh, wait, that was a T44 at 122. You don't gotta. What the? I mean. Oh, you. What? I don't understand. I don't understand why. Okay, hang on. We got an enemy pushing up. It's IS6. Watch us bounce this, though. I think he's right here. Yeah, there he is. Can we go through his side armor at this angle? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. What's up, dude? Nice, nice. Yep. You cannot hit my Coppolas. Stop it. Oh. Got one shot by a Panther? Had to be from the... Yeah. See, that's all you had to do is just shoot my side in that situation. And I would have been done. What happened last game was truly amazing. That felt good. Tanking all those rounds. But I feel like the enemy team had no idea where to shoot me. So, um, but hopefully that keeps going this game. We're on Kuban versus the Russians again. Got some AIs over here to our left. Another AI. Trying to find some real players here. Oh, fuck. Come on, take the death. Nice, good. Did we just get two 50 cal, 50 cal kills right there? Oh fuck, come on team, stay alive. Stay alive. We got an enemy below us to the right, I think. T-54. Nice. IS-6 over here. No, T-44, huh? Yeah, ru yeah, run away. I don't know why you gave me that angle on him. Fuck yeah, T95, good shit. Need some help, boys. My, my whole back end is just completely fucked. What the fuck? Oh, that sucks right there. Enemy tank to our right, IS-6. Come on, team, support. I'm gonna faint and look back because these guys are horny as shit for a kill. Here they come again, I bet. One's dead, or one got hit. 
shit tank in front. We gotta be careful how, how we play this. Good, good. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Oh shit. I'm gonna disengage. Oh, oh come on. Easy kill. He just got me at a bad angle. Whoa. No, 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 no. He went through the hardest part of the fucking tank. Not to worry. We still have the T-28 to go through. Pretty much the same exact setup as the T-95 and armor values and guns and etc. Ah, shit. But with uh, two less tracks on each side. Yes, please go for me. Uh, one of our T-92s just got ripped in Reperonis. We got to push in there. What are these guys doing over here? Well, we needed air support, but two of our planes just crashed for uh, no apparent reason. Yep, yep. That was a big in Yak-9, I believe. Not again. Not again. Not again. Let's see where he shot us this time. This time he should have gone through the, the, the weakest portion. Oh my god. You've got mail. The original machine had a base plate of prefamulated amulite surmounted by a malleable logarithmic casing in such a way that the two spurving bearings were in a direct line with a panometric fam. The lineup consisted simply of six hydrocoptic marzal veins, so fitted to the ambifacient lunar wane shaft that side fumbling was effectively prevented. The main winding was of the normal lotus o deltoid type placed in panendermic semi-boloid slots of the stator. Every seventh conductor being connected by a non-reversible tremie pipe to the differential girdle spring on the up end of the gram meters. Moreover, whenever fluorescent score motion is required, it may also be employed in conjunction with a drawn reciprocation dingle arm to reduce sinusoidal depleneration. <laughs> 